Hi, I'm Chris Munch I'm from Badness Sites, Minnesota, and this is my van. It's a 92 Chevy G20. We call it Big Blue. We've got some plans for that. Uh, the name is uh, going to be written in some Japanese stuff, so we got a theme coming here. But uh, other than that, it's a uh, factory color still. We've been nursing this along since about 92. I've owned the van since uh, for about 10 years. It was a stock cargo van when I got it, and the uh, guy was an old vanner and he just did a little bit of interior stuff, not much, and we've pretty much redone all that. I did all the stuff, we put the side pipes on, the uh, fender flares, swapped the tires, uh, swapped the emblems, uh, swapped the side marker lights. I did all the stuff because I just wanted to make the van the best Chevy that, with all the nice pieces from the 70s and from any era that I thought was cool. I'm not trying to make it anything, something different, like pretend that it's a 70s van. So as you can see up front, I kept the factory grill. And I just said, well, you know what? I, I like that grill. I don't, I don't think it's that bad. So I just tried to make it the best grill that I could make it. And you know, you do a little paint to it. You do a little, you, know, you color the black and you swap down a little and it's a nice looking grill. I mean, these vans were, were nice all the way up till 95 and, and past when they changed the body style. but. You know, someday I might put a custom grill on it, but for now I just said, I'm going to make it the nicest I can do. And so we did that. I put the bumpers on there. Put the old uh, school fog lights on there. I kind of got a lot of low rider in me, so, you know, I put some of these old 50s things. They got the cat whiskers on there. <laughs> Not curb feelers, they work, yep. Here's a little mod, I don't know, I, uh, I saw this one time, somebody, and I kind of liked it, and I, uh, turn signal indicators, and they work, and they, uh, you can see the indicator, you gotta lean up a little bit further, but, there's a lot of little extra stuff too I added, um, I like a lot of chrome, so I went with the chrome bead lock, uh, I swapped these over, and you polish these out, they look pretty good. Obviously, you know, I do a lot of I do a lot of picking and a lot of antique hunting too. So I get a lot of stuff from the old architectural antiques and the garage sales and the flea markets. And I found that old Archer antenna in a box. I thought that was pretty neat. I found that uh, dual train horn there at an antique store. I got that for about five bucks. I thought that was pretty neat. I got that hooked up. So. As you were talking about what these little things are, these are cast iron air scoops. They're from the 50s. You can get them now. They reproduce them too, but these are the original. And they do work too. When you open the wing window, they scoop it in. And of course, we've got the rocket, the, the Cadillac of heat shields. To, to me, I really like that clover hole. We go wing the side door because I got sick of messing with the slider. It was actually out of uh, necessity too. It just got tired of that slider always messing around, even though we had the extended arm on it. Well, yeah, we put a little curtains here and ah, the Griffin. <laughs> I bought that for the wife in an antique store. She likes Griffins, so I put that. We were gonna mount it on our wall, and I said, "Honey, are you gonna let me put that in the van?" She said, "Yeah, I suppose we could put that in the van." So. I got a chrome griffin in the van. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> she also she also talked me into this, so we got this little trick. I don't know how many people see that. That's a magic fingers from the CD motel. It's a vibrating bed machine. You put the quarter in. And that's the that's the really nice one. It says a quality motels and it's got the alarm on it too, you can set. Yeah, a lot of the other stuff too, these these little lights and these these things, I just, you know, I've been picking those things up for years. I just, I'm a light guy, I like a lot of different lights and let me crawl in there and light it up for you here. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Looks great. Yeah, we got the swag lights back there. It's got a little bit of everything from family. That's uh, those little uh, tea light side uh, shelf units there from my grandma. Got some other pieces in here from my grandpa too. I can't find what they all are. 
Yeah, we just threw that shelf. This whole interior we did in about, I, I just did it in about 40 days. We just slapped that shelf together. I actually had that stained glass in my house and I thought, well, I'll, I got a use for that. So I threw that up there and we thought that, lo that looked pretty cool. I might redo it someday, but sometimes people say, what the heck is that on the ceiling? That's a 1950s gullwing towel bar. We're going to put a light in that, so. <laughs> There's a lot of little extra tricks here and there. We got the, uh, like I said, I really like to shop at architectural antique salvage places. So I said, I need a, I need a, uh, you know, a curtain rod with some style. So I went and got a real brass one and we got the little brass keepers with the little flower. You know, and I, I made it into a, a rod for the uh, curtain. TV up here. Oh yeah, I got a little TV up there too. <laughs> You're just getting the the lines right now, but yeah, I got. I, you know, and I'm not really, I'm not really too in, exclusive of any era. I mean, there's there's every era from the 50s all the way up to 2000 in parts in here. That TV is from actually from a 92, so that's that's period correct mm -hmm. for my 92. But you know, a majority of it is 70s theme, because that's the kind of stuff that I like. Oh yeah, yeah. Some of that stuff is just from my uh, piles of hoarding tacky 60s and 70s uh, mid-century modern Americana type stuff. That is a uh, sci. It's a galaxy. DX99, you could do the sideband and dial it in so you could talk in between the bands. Yeah, there's a lot of little extra, there's a lot of little extra things like the ceiling light that, what's that, a 74 Ford Granada. Uh, this dash, I like to tell people this dash is about uh, pieces from 20 different dashes it took to make this. Dash. This, if you if you're familiar with the '90s dash, it has the square gauge cluster. Mm -hmm. So I like the rounder one, but I like the little brushed aluminum. And here's the most important thing I can say to people: you can make the outside of the van look nice, but you're going to spend 99% of your time staring at the dash. So you better make it kick ass, you know, and make it look good, because that's what you're going to see. So I really worked hard on that and tried to make that you know, really nice. I mean, if you look and see, I painted the gauges just for fun and we threw some switches in there for some of the lights and some of this stuff. We just, uh, you know, there's a little compass here and this is for my CB billboard. That advertises what channel you're on. We could show you that. It's on the outside. It's a little billboard box, but we also modified this. Um, and, and I've said this before, I don't recommend this, but if you want to throw Beauville trim, into your dash you can do it but it sucks you gotta grind it all off and epoxy it in mm. so it fits in there but it looks all right and i didn't really need the ashtray cover here so i tore all that off and we moved this whole thing up and i just you know left that a little bit open for a little bit of display and functionality i made the switch thing here we just tried out a little different style of writing yeah <laughs> just goofy stuff like that the dingo balls i've had those in the, in my vehicles since i was 16. um so i had to bring them back and put them in here when i put them in here i must say it felt like home <laughs> that steering wheel uh you know i got just about every other little goodie from the 70s and i really want an octagonal steering wheel and I really want to put one in, but it's it would be sacrilege, and I can't do it because this steering wheel my parents bought in 1969 at a drive-in movie theater flea market, and it's been on over 20 vehicles that our family has owned, including they bought it for their six, my mom's 67 Camaro RS, uh, and it was on that first, and it's been on all my school vehicles, all my dad's vehicles, so it's got a lot of history to it. and. I just feel it brings me good luck, so that's why we're staying with that steering wheel. I don't think we can really swap over to that hex steering wheel. 
But yeah, I've been price, you know, parts shopping for years. Geez, I think I found these handles and these things. I had to ask my buddy. He was selling a farm truck and 53 Ford. I said, I really want those handles. And there I said, can I buy those off? He said, I suppose you can. So we got some of that. This came from my grandpa. It's a 1950s pinup uh, spinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of little goodies from everybody in here. This is all, this whole package is, uh, you can find these in Bowville's or Rally STX's, and I just covered it with uh, crushed velvet until we build, uh, until I build an overhead console. But for now, it works pretty good. You know, it's got the recessed areas where the, where the everything. But yeah, this dash and everything was all blue. It was just a blue boring with the square gauge cluster when I got it. And I really wanted, I'm all about that muscle car. I like that muscle car look. So I went the, with the black wood and chrome mm -hmm. is, is what I really tried to go for. So, and like I said, yeah. you stare at it all the time. You might as exactly. well love it. Yep. Yep. That's true. That's where you spend all your time. And in the seats. Oh, the seats came out of StarCraft conversion van. Yeah. <laughs> yeah nice. Well, that's where you spend most of your time in the seats. Right? Yeah. Up in the bed. Yeah, and they they spin around. Yeah, there you go. That's the uh, CB billboard, and you could turn it to different uh, channels. And yeah, it was a little bit of a trick, kind of getting it, getting it in there. But uh, we got it in there. Yeah. What are most of the truckers on now? It used to be 19 years ago. I don't know. Yep, 19. Still... For the rolling, we were on two. These, uh, everybody, you know, I'll, I'll tell, I'll tell you this, I'll tell you my advice. If you want to cut holes in your van, cut holes in your van. I did. Everybody says, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. No problem, right? I held onto these things for about seven years. Uh, I don't know where I found them. I found them from a guy and I haven't seen any other pair. Uh, there's a few that were on Ace of Spades van uh, and that's the only other ones I've seen. And they don't leak, right? They don't leak. Yeah. Um, but. I would say that was one of the most challenging things that I did was to get this right. Uh, it took a lot of doing because the portal goes like this, but it's twisting because your body goes like that. So yeah, I probably uh, took some life off my knees doing this, jump back of it to turn a screw one time. You go look, you make sure, and it's attention to detail. You got to look and make sure that the body isn't pulling in right there. And it took a lot of wood blocks and nice plane going over but you know you have to put the wood blocks around and stuff like that but uh you know don't don't be afraid i mean if you want to do it just do it and take your time and do it right and you know measure 50 times and have a beer and then start cutting <laughs> the jet wing yeah i'll let uh, i'll let that remain a mystery not many people guess what that is but uh yeah, I found that, I measured that out, and I thought that that would fit just about right, so I threw that up there. But I'll let you guys guess what kind of wing it is. <laughs> Gotta be off a car, some kind of car. Something. But yeah, we got the swag lights in here. Mm -hmm. They're fun when you're driving down the road. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You got your color wheel going there. Oh, the disco wheel, yeah, the disco <laughs> wheel. And the, and the cat clock with the little eyes. Yeah, all the little fun stuff. Oh, you gotta fix this mirror here, huh? So this is some candy for I decided to try out uh, when I tried to redo the interior a little bit better and uh, it works out pretty good. You draw little faces in it and... <laughs> But yeah, you can glue it. I had to glue it a little bit. You know, it needs a little bit of work and staple, and then you can cut it and put the screws in. It's all on that perforated hole uh, backer board. So you can kind of look through it and see where you got a body line that you can screw into. The top is about two different panels. And then you can just lay there and you can look through and see where your where your joists are and then you can screw into it, and mark your holes. Yeah. Yeah, someday I might do button tuck or something different, but for now it works pretty good. That's great. You got your custom plate. Oh yeah. Vannon. That's right. I do like Vannon because that was one of the first sites that I went to to find out about the whole movement was Vannon. Mm -hmm. And I uh, joined as a member back in probably 2006 or something. 
I mean, I'd have vans since the 90s, but uh, I didn't really know the resources or where to find. You know, I had a stack of van magazines and I just didn't know anybody who was still around. I thought I was the lone vanner in Minnesota for a long time. I'd see a van here and there, but I actually hooked up with Taz from High Roll in probably about 2007, 2008. I found he had a flyer for his yard party and I just said, oh, I'm going to go check this out. And then here we are. Yeah, I like to get stuff from the, uh, you know, I don't like to buy stuff new. If you look around, most of the stuff's used. I collected these little lights here and there, a piece here, a piece there. And this is no exception. I got this off a big old Mack truck in the junkyard. It's a Motorola one. We just cleaned it up. It's got the cool brass and I threw it up there. And some people ask, well, if you got those antennas up front, well, what does this control? Well, this runs my uh, police and fire scanner. I run that off and it picks it up pretty good. We also got uh, my antenna tie down is an old, for now it's an old Ham's beer. I made a little Ham's beer bottle opener. It's cool, but it's really hard to kind of get through that tempered steel. It's pretty strong steel, so to grind that out a little bit, you know, it eats up your bits a few times. And there's one more little dash thing I can show you here. You know, I don't be afraid. You don't always have to just shop for van parts at vans. You can get them from anywhere. So when I was scrapping out my 88 Jeep Cherokee, I thought, well, what can I use off this? Can I use anything for the van? Well, you sure can. This drops right into your Chevy. So if you want to add a little style to your tilt steering wheel knob, 88 Jeep Cherokee. There you go. There's a little trick for you. And 70s light pull and cigarette lighters look great. So I swapped yeah. over to those. Because <laughs> I grew up with that stuff. I like it. I think it's it reached perfection there. I didn't like those chrome knobs, so I swapped over to that. I'm going to put the chrome on here and a little extra stuff. Still got to swap over to this uh, chrome. But this is also one of the monikers of the van. This is, says custom. I found this at a uh, flea market. There was two of them, and nobody to this day can tell me what emblem this is on. So if anybody watching this knows what emblem this is, feel free to let me know. Because we think it's off of Ford, but we don't know. Post a comment. Yep, we just don't know. Huh. But it kind of fits, so. Yeah. And there you go, there's Big Blue. Hopefully we'll get some uh, Mecha Godzilla murals on it someday or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we got one more, little, one more, one more little thing here. I uh, I painted my first emblems, and when it was time to swap the new emblems, I let my daughter Chloe paint these mm -hmm. beautiful emblems. So we have sun up on this side and sun down on the other side. Oh, cool! Well, that's good to get them involved. Yep.